Well, hello everyone. Patrick Batty here today uh, from uh, workwithbatman.com, readyamearn.com, and teamreadyamearn.com. And uh, today what I thought I was doing, I was just about to do a little task on my one of my websites. And I thought I'd record this because I got a feeling there's a lot of people out there that have some security vulnerabilities on WordPress sites that they aren't even aware of. Basically, there is all kinds of code, all kinds of malware, all kinds of viruses, all that kind of garbage going on in the world that is hitting WordPress sites all over the place. And most people are totally, uh, just don't even know how to deal with it, don't know what to do, don't know you know, how to take care of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into a site here and use a free tool, absolutely free, I'm not selling anything today. I'm gonna use a free tool and show you how you can discover what's going on on your site and if you happen to have any. Now I use two different kinds of blogging systems. I use WordPress for some of my sites and I use a viral blogging system on other sites. WordPress sites need all this work. The viral blogging system does not need any of that. It's all hosted within a within an organization, corporate structure, and so you don't need to do it. But in, in a WordPress site, you need to do some things like this or you're leaving yourself wide open. Now, the site I have here is readyamearn.com. Basically, I talk about blogging. I talk about how you can make money with a blog and all that. Feel free to check that site out at readyamearn.com. But now I'm going to log in because I know there's something going on there that I want to show you how to discover. So I'm just logging into the WordPress back office of this website. And I use a password saver to save it. That's why I didn't have to enter anything. And I'm going to use a tool here that you can find. And let me find where it is on this site now under my plugins. It's called WordFence. And all you have to do to install WordFence to your site is go to plugins. If you don't have it already on your site, click add new and then activate it. Add new, type in the word word fence and activate it. Now I already have it here. So you'll see word, it'll look like this when you get it, word fence security. And there it is. Okay, so you're going to activate it. That's effectively as far as I've gone with this. Other than I ran a scan earlier and I'm going to run a scan again. So all I'm going to do is click on word fence and go to scan. And I wanted to show you, now I did this scan before. Effectively, all you have to do is hit this button, okay? Basically hit that button and run a scan. And you'll see here that I've got some problems to deal with when I ran my scan. So you'll run yours. You're gonna see if you have anything to deal with at all. If everything's green, your, your site's fine, okay? If you have an issue though, you may want to check it out. So here's a sample of an issue. What happens? These are some things that have found that look a little suspicious. Effectively, what this plugin does is it goes out and checks to compare the files on your site to the, comp the original uh, files on WordPress site or the original theme files or the original plugin files that you have on your site. If your site is different and you have not made changes to that, in other words, if a theme file is different on your site, and yet you've not made any changes. There's probably a problem there. Something's gone in. So I'm going to go in and see uh, what has changed, first of all, and if it's a legitimate change or if it's a, uh, a virus or malware. So what you do is when it identifies some problems, simply click this, see how the file has changed. Simple as that. And I'll see here some code. And so you'll see here, this code wasn't in the original file, but it's here. I actually recognize this code because this is another plugin I have on this site. So that's actually okay. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just say, I have fixed the issue or ignore it until it changes. In fact, I can just say that, ignore it until it changes. I don't wanna, I don't want to get that message popping up again, but if the file changes in the future, I would like to do it. Now let's have a look at this one. Uh, this is in the theme uh, 
uh, compatibility, theme compatibility header. I think it's to do with an old version of a theme. Let's see how it's changed. That's what I was looking for. That stuff there, when you see all this kind of crap code here, that's a virus of some kind or malware of some kind. I'm going to go and just simply re no, before I, before you do this kind of thing on yours, you may want to back up your file, uh, your, your WordPress site, you know, install a backup, uh, plugin or, or if you have a way to back it up through your hosting or whatever, do the backup. Now I'm not worried about this because I take regular backups. If anything went wrong, it would break it. But if anything goes wrong on your site, I don't want you to be calling me. And, uh, <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, is assuming you've got some kind of backup that you can revert, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the original version because I don't want that junk there anymore. And there we go. It's fixed that error. Okay. And that file is now done and corrected. Now let's take a look at the next one. Same issue. So that malware is in there. Restore the original version. Done. And that basically has taken care of everything. Oh, it's going, it's still continuing through and doing a bit of analysis. Pardon me. It's refreshing. One sec. Let's see what else pops up. Not sure why it started that process over again there. But anyway, I'm going to just pause this for a minute and I'll start again as soon as it's done. Okay, and that uh, has actually completed now. So let's see, is there anything else here? Yeah, there are a couple other things. Let's just check these now. Let's see how this has changed. Okay, that's junk. I want to get rid of it. So I restarted the original version. Check this one. This is in a... Okay, so this you can see that this this virus or malware has kind of worked its way through a lot of different files in 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 this system here. So I'm I'm going through and just getting rid of it on each one. And I'm going to show you another plugin after this that can do this as well. Uh, yep. So I want to get rid of that too. Okay, so we're working our way through and what am I doing? I think I'm left with one and I got a feeling this is one that because of another plugin I can't change here. And so I'm going to have to go do this either through FTP or something else. I don't think it'll let me change it. Let's try. Oh, it did. Okay. That was in an, on another site where I ran into that. So look at that is done now. If I ran the scan again, it shouldn't find anything. Scan might take a few minutes, but we'll try it. I'll pause while I'm doing it. As it starts up here, let's see when it starts. Okay, and then I ran it again. And uh, good news, no problems found as I go through the thing and when I go down below there's nothing down below so that site is now done and clean so that's the idea of how to do this I mentioned there are there are other plugins out there there's one if you search the term malware in under plugins there's one called got MLS uh, that's a good one as well it also in fact even does uh, the gives you the ability to revert back to um, the original version if if there was a problem why i'm not using it right now is there's not that many problems in here and got got mls was um or get mls was finding false positives in my theme on this particular site so rather than have all kinds of things identified as problems that weren't problems it was just the way that the theme writer created the theme um, i preferred this one because it's i can really see what it's done so look at, I hope that helps you. Uh, you'd probably want to put something like that on any of your WordPress sites. If you're on the viral blogging system, on the other hand, you don't need to. It's all taken care for, for you. There's never been 
an issue as far as malware or viruses on our viral blogging system. If you want to find out more information about our viral blogging system, just go to readyaimearn.com and, uh, and I'll send you some more information. All the best. Have a wonderful day and make sure your sites are safe. Bye-bye.